In Creo Parametric, you can perform composite design. In this video, we'll take a look at creating manual plies. In a previous video, I started out my composite feature and performed my setup steps. Let's go to the composite feature in the model tree. I will left click on it and then choose edit definition from the mini toolbar. This puts me back in the composite design environment. And so to create manual plies, you will click on the manual ply icon in the ribbon. This opens up the dashboard. And the first thing that I'm going to do is choose my material. Here are the different materials that I added to my model in a previous video. The Arex is a core material, so I'm going to change to one of my ply materials, and I'll choose that from the list. And we have a drop down list for the orientation. There are the default values of 0, 90, 45, and minus 45. These different angles are going to be with respect to your rosette, the X direction of the rosette, that is. So let's start off by defining our boundary chain. And there are a few different use cases for selecting your boundary chains. The first one that we'll take a look at is a single closed loop. And so for my boundary chain, I can start off by selecting a curve in the model. And you can see that curve listed in here. In order to select the other entities that I want, I will hold down the control key on the keyboard and select the other entities that I want to use for my boundary. And let's get this one and it's not complete yet. I need a little other sliver over here. And so there you can see a preview showing up where my boundary is going to be defined. And so I am happy with this one. So I can hit the check mark in order to complete the feature. Oh, by the way, there is a flip side button. You'll notice if I flip it, well, I'm going to end up getting an error because it goes all the way out to the outer boundary of the surface. Let's flip it back. And there's also a ply settings tab. From here, you can also change the material and the orientation. You could specify a different rosette, just like you can from the main part of the dashboard. Here is our drop off. It is using the default drop off value that we specified for the model. And here's where you can change the name and the sequence, but I'll show you how to do that in a different video. So I'm happy with this first ply. Let's hit the check mark. And now we'll create a, another ply. And this time we're going to create it using one outer boundary and one inner loop. So let's go to the manual ply button. And once again, I will change my material. Let's use one of the other materials in the list. And so for my first loop, I will select this curve. And this is one of those closed loop curves that I created in a different video. You can see the preview of what we're getting. I will choose the add loop button. That way I can pick a, another loop that I want to use. And there you can see the area that we are getting. I'm happy with this one. Let's go to the orientation. Let's change this to 90 degrees just to be different. And I will hit the check mark. And now we have our second ply created. By the way, you can see the color coding in our laminate tree. So we have the first ply in red and the other one in green. Be aware that you can change these colors later on. For our third use case, we'll take a look at using one outer loop and multiple inner loops. So let me click on the manual ply command. And so for my first loop, I will use this particular boundary. And then let's add a loop and I'll grab this one and then add another loop and let's grab this one. And so you can see the highlighting of our area that we're going to get for this particular ply. Once again, let's change the material that we are going to use. I'm happy with this. Let's hit the check mark. Okay, for the next one, I'm actually gonna hide the plies just to show you another variation of using a single closed loop. Let me hide this one, hide this one. I wanna use one of my curves that I defined in a previous video. So if we want to, we can go to the manual ply command and for the loop, hey, I can just click this one over here. Let's change our material and hit the check mark. There we have our new ply defined. Okay, the next scenario, we can define a ply using multiple intersecting 
edges, curves, and loops. And so let's do that up over here. Let me move over. Let's go to the manual ply. Let's choose from the drop down list the one that we want to use. And so for the loop, let's start off by selecting this curve here. And then just to show you that you can do this, I will hold down the control key and grab one of the model edges. And then I'll grab a curve from the model. Actually, let me grab this one and this one over here. And finally, one other edge in order to get the boundary of it. Once again, if you want to, you could try flipping the side to see one of the other possible solutions. But now this goes out all the way to the boundary of the model. So it is giving a problem. Let's flip it back to the inside. I am happy with this one. So let's hit the check mark. And there we have a, another ply created. And you'll notice with the color coding that the last two are showing up in yellow. Let's bring back the other two plies that I had previously hidden. And so there you can see a few of the different manual plies that I have created in my composite design.